Joining us now is Dr. David Kaplan. He is assistant professor at the University of Pennsylvania and the director of hepatology at the VA Medical Center in Philadelphia. Thank you so much for joining us. There is a lot of excitement at this meeting about uh, treatments for hepatitis C, but your focus is really hepatitis B. Tell us about that. So our session is quite an eclectic one, and it has, uh, uh, I was trying to identify a central theme, and it, it, it uh, somewhat belies a central theme, but we have some very exciting presentations. Um, the first is actually not on hepatitis B, but on hepatitis delta, uh, and the results of an international multi-center perspective two-year study uh, looking at uh, pegylated interferon plus tenofovir uh, versus pegylated interferon plus, plus placebo for two years in uh, patients with delta. And uh, that's going to be a very high impact uh, uh, investigation that's going to be reported. And uh, we expect a heated discussion of the uh, implications of the results of that. Um, there's then uh, several studies looking at uh, the comparisons of high and low potency nucleoside analogs, uh, both on, on, on various outcomes, acute, and chronic, uh, acute on chronic liver failure uh, and uh, different aspects of virological control. And then we have some more immunologically based uh, investigations that uh, look at uh, cytokines and outcomes and uh, a very exciting uh, in, uh, paper on a therapeutic vaccine. So it's really a, a very uh, diverse uh, session with uh, uh, many exciting abstracts. Well, heated discussions are always good. I hope, the, I hope, I'm sure it will be uh, civil and productive, uh, really to understand the implications of this very uh, seminal investigation. And it'll be one of the few uh, papers presented on hepatitis delta at the session this year. What would surprise most people? I think the most surprising thing will be uh, results from a therapeutic vaccine uh, that'll be presented by Genevieve Inchaus uh, that uh, really shows the first uh, data in an immunotolerant mouse model of the potential effect of a therapeutic vaccine for hepatitis B. Uh, and I think these results will uh, uh, really excite people about the potential clinical applicability of this approach uh, in chronic hepatitis B. And what are the things you hope people take away from this to be able to integrate into their practice or their research? Um, so the, uh, as the clinical impact of the, of the HIDIT study is going to be probably the most important uh, impact on practice because it was a, a multi-center uh, randomized controlled study. Uh, there's also going to be a, a very uh, important paper presented on the impact of uh, hepatitis B reactivation in rituximab done in a prospective fashion and that will have immediate clinical impact for clinicians who uh, deal with the issue of hepatitis B reactivation in the setting of immunosuppression. Thank you so much for joining us. Sounds like there are a lot of exciting things for them to take away from this.